grab messages from service bus input queue and move those messages to service bus queue. We've got it. <coughs> We've got an input queue, and this is the output queue. I should have named it output, but input and output. When I put messages here, I want them to eventually arrive here. And the way we did, we we're going to do this is we're going to obviously create the resource group, and then we're going to create a logic app. And then we're going to create service bus namespace. And then we will create service bus queues. And these steps, all of these steps have already been done, but we will go through them. So um, we have our resource group. In our resource group, I want you to pay attention to only these two things, the logic app and the service bus. The logic app is what orchestrates the whole process. And what it does is it, every, every three seconds, it's going to ping this queue to see if there's any messages be checking this queue every every three seconds if there's a message then it will send that message to this other queue the service bus queue service bus queue um, this is pretty straightforward and we could easily try it out we could say send message and let's send five messages let's say one two, three, four, five. So, and here are our five messages. So we sent the messages here and they arrived in this queue. We can look at the logic app runs and we'll see that we've got, we've got all these runs One, two, three, four, five. These are the five, <coughs> the five runs that we just executed. If we look at one of them, we'll see that this is the trigger, right? Every three seconds, it, it's looking at that queue, and it will send the message. And so if we dig a little deeper into how this works, We could check the settings on the first step, and we can see here it's got a split on on this array, which means that the execution of this logic app is going to happen once for every for every for every um, message on the service bus on this ser service bus queue so for example if i shoot five messages here let's say we, we change this to not every three seconds but let's say once a minute that that'll give me a chance to shoot five messages from here if i shoot those five messages what's going to happen is there's going to be a scale out and this will be triggered and because it's got this setting right here that it's a split on trigger body, this, the, the trigger body is actually going to have the array of messages. And for each of those five messages that, that it will find, it will see in this trigger body array, it's going to scale out the rest of this processing. So send message, there's going to be five of these running in parallel. And that is the beauty of logic apps is that a scale out is is uh, controlled 
um, very easily. And the scale out is, is extremely powerful. I've used logic apps where the, the scale out was just amazing. I, I had thousands of instances of the same logic app being scaled out. 